this wonderful no, event, no, no, and I'm so glad that she's here, looking radiant and red. Oh, I think we have to raise, raise our glass. glass. Oh, yes. It's our here, here, here. here. here and you can't drink to yourself. Here, here. Good morning. My name is Dave Lambden, and I'm the president of the Victorian Society Alumni Association. I met Sybil about 12 years ago. I was just a member of the Washington, D.C. chapter, but I got invited by Charles Robertson to go on the Northern England alumni ship tour. I learned that Jeff and Sybil were very good friends, and so I sort of like weaseled my way <laughs> in between, and then I got to be good friends with Sybil. And then over the course of years, I met Nancy and Pauline, and they sort of like got me more <laughs> involved into the alumni. I started out with the treasurer and then the president. The most, the best part, I guess, is getting to meet uh, new people and make new friendships, and that's been very, very uh, satisfying for me. Well, on behalf of the uh, board of directors of the Alumni Association, I wanted to present you with this Lifetime Achievement Award. Yay. And it says, for over 40 years, starting before her attendance at the London Summer School in 1982, through her active participation in the founding of the Alumni Association of the Victorian Society Summer Schools, continuing with her longtime service on the VSA Summer Schools Committees, her wise guidance to the management of the Alumni Association, her active efforts in recruiting foreign students for the summer schools and keeping them involved with the Alumni Association, her faithful support of the alumni study tours, and her generous support of the Alumni Association with her time, talent, and treasure. This Lifetime Achievement Award is humbly and gratefully presented to Sybil McCormick Ross. Oh, here, here, here. Oh, Did you get a good picture of Sybil and I, Fred? <laughs> oh, we got our. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the second little tributary, which is the same wise counsel and guidance with long time service and her spirited involvement for worldwide recruitment for the summer schools to continue support for the study tours, whose commendation is gratefully presented in appreciation for the steadfast dedication of Sybil to the Alumni Association. And we do have a special little tribute that's been sent by somebody else who's very important to the school, i.e. Richard Guy Wilson. Oh, and he so says, nice. Sybil Groff, affectionately known as Mighty Mouse, <laughs> has swept through many areas of historic preservation and architectural history and has been instrumental in saving the past and education. Sybil's role in the Victorian Society in the summer schools outdid Wonder Woman and she is enshrined in the Hall of Heroines of Old Buildings. Richard what many of you probably don't know is that I actually was attending a, uh, a conference in Washington, D.C., which was called Back to the City. Well, I didn't know anyone. And so all of a sudden, <laughs> the civil comes up and in introduces herself. Having just gotten divorced. Having just gotten divorced. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. And that was pre- uh, Victorian Society. And this is a gift, which of course you have to open because I know you love. It's one of your prints. No, yeah. it's an original. It's an original. <laughs> yes. I want everybody to see this. It's beautifully It's gorgeous. Of course. Drawing skills are not as strong as they look. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh. oh. It's. Uh, it's Oh, is that one of your sketches that you did? Well, this is this is a sketch of a monument in Budapest, in Budapest, which is your favorite city. Oh. It's the uh, it's called the Fisherman's Bastion. Oh, oh that's so lovely. It's, that's interesting because I've just been to Budapest. Your favorite? My favorite city. Yes. You love Budapest. I love Budapest. Yeah, and I want to go back there. What a what a lovely gift! Yes. I want to give you the grace of just saying it's been so meaningful to me. And I hope it will continue to be, I mean, to make this the Victorian Society. So I can't thank you all enough. And here is to a victorious Victorian Society. Uh, so here it is, we're blessed. Yeah, I'll never forget hiking in Switzerland. 
<laughs> with Pauline, who I just met in Zermatt and having a wonderful time. And she mentioned this Victorian society and that I ought to get involved. And she got me on the board of the Metropolitan Chapter. And when you were pre president, yeah. yeah, when Margaret was president. So we all go way back. <laughs> with the Victorian society for 50 years. Well, wow. isn't that amazing? It is. It's amazing. I have so many memories, but I'm going to just salute three people tonight. Molly has done so much for yes. the Victorian Society. Yes. Definitely. So we should. To Molly. Yes. And then the other two people I wanted to salute one is RGW, and we would never be where we are today if it wasn't for his leadership and carrying us on. And then I want to make another one. There she is. <laughs> it's, it's Liz Lucky. And I immediately liked her and what she has done with the London Summer School and many other aspects of the summer schools is deserves a special Cheers. And here is to a victorious Victorian society. Oh, here, here, here. Well, I, I, I want to add to that, it's the Alumni Association that we feel particularly strongly about thanking you, Sybil. We, we've made so many wonderful friends yeah. through this group. It's amazing.